we had a windstorm about a week ago and a lot of our trees in the bush blew over or snapped off. The winds I think were about 85 clicks kilometers an hour. can't really remember but it was windy and so of course Brian is excited because it means he gets to maybe saw some lumber. I am excited because it means some firewood and this is an activity that we both absolutely love. It is, I would say one of our most favorite things to do together is to work in the bush. So, you know, removing trees that have blown over. We typically have little arguments about which trees are going to be cut. Um, I like to only to harvest things that are down, but we both are kind of um, aware that it's really important to leave wood and trees for wildlife. So anything that can provide habitat, we like to leave. So I'm going to take you along for our kind of forest fun today as we haul some wind throw logs and some firewood and clean and cut our trails open because a lot of our trees, not big ones, just blew over across the trail. So making some tea because we probably won't be in for lunch. It's probably going to be uh, a pretty good day of cutting and skidding out logs. Before we get working, a couple things. Whenever we work with chainsaws, we're always wearing all of our safety gear. So we both have saw pants, steel toe boots, hard hats. We'll be having hearing protection when we're cutting uh, and safety glasses. We also have first aid kits out here. And then of course our cell phones. Hopefully we won't need it, but you never know. So, we're gonna get going here, cut our first couple of trees off the trail.
before the logger gets here, I just want to talk a little bit about this little area. There are some really nice white pines in this little pocket, but the birds like them as well. And they do have some heart rot. And you can see over the years, we've lost a number of them, but they do provide really great areas for wildlife. So even though this snag looks super sketch, we're gonna leave it standing. The same with the one behind it. We lost that one, I wanna say three or four years ago now, but you can see the birds, pileated, downy, hairy, woodpeckers, nuthatches, etc. They've all started to kind of move in and call this place home. So we'll leave the, the, the snags standing. We won't take those right to the ground. And you can see over there two really old snags that have finally made their way to the ground. And so now they provide habitat for salamanders and things like that. But there's actually two logs down. There's one there, trees, not logs. So we're going to skid that white pine out what we can salvage of this white pine and leave the rest for future windstorms. You might be wondering why I'm cutting this firewood so small. It's actually for the bunnies. They like to chew. They eat the buds and the smaller twigs and then it wears their teeth down when they have some sugar maple limbs to chew on. Uh -huh. 